everyone, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com and today what I'm going to be covering for you is a new bow sight. Um, it's not so much as far as being new, but it's, it's a great quality product that's been around for quite a long time and I mean, this, this by far is probably my favorite bow sight I've ever had. I've actually had three of these and uh, they sent me a new one from Spot Hog and it's called the Hunter Hoggett and uh, it's the Cameron Haynes series. Uh, signature series uh, one here. Now this is a seven pin. Now the difference between the one here that I have and the other ones I've had is this one has the wrap that comes with it. Now what the wrap is, is it's basically more fiber optics wrapped around the outside portion of it to allow more light to go to your pins. And uh, we'll cover this thing extensively. The great thing about this is it's multiple adjustable. I mean you can adjust this sight left, right, up, down, individual pins, whatever you guys want to do. And uh, it has to be one of the toughest sights that I've ever had. Now, I hunted with this thing all archery season. And uh, matter of fact, I was using it on my 90-yard penetration test that you guys can see on the website right there with using the VAP arrows. And, uh, you know, my bows, it's dead on. This last pin set right at 90 yards and uh, no issues. If you have a good tomb bow, you shoot all the time, you guys could be able to do that too. However, let's cover the sight here. Uh, it has numerous placement holes for it all along. I mean, you have four holes where you can attach it to your bow, um, you know, which could give you the difference between, you know, how far it is out in front of you. Um, there's two, two uh, screw points here at the back where you can put your quiver to, which uh, I had my quiver to it as well, um, that you just take an Allen wrench, an Allen wrench, and you turn it for left, right, up down so you get your first pin your first pin here which I always set my first pin at 20 I go 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 depending on how fast your bow shooting but uh you set your first pin in at 20 yards which you know I think most of us do that anyhow uh, some people set their first at 30 but whatever your preference is it doesn't really matter um, all you do then is you set your first one in using the main portion of the uh, sight here. So you have this one is for up. So you know you turn it up or down. You can move the sight individually this way. Then your side one here, which is on the side, you turn it for left or right. So you get that first pin set in there and you should be good to go. All right, once you get that set in there, <clears throat> and I'm going to zoom in here on this because I, I want you guys to see this. All right, so this side right here, this is the top of the sight right here. All right, so you're looking at it from your bow. All right, this one, you turn it and it goes up or down and it moves along the little bracket here. So it's, it's micro adjustable with just your Allen wrench and that's all you need to do. You don't need to tighten any other nuts. All you do is t move that one and it locks itself in. So um, definitely good to go. It's got great marks here to let you know where the line is, uh, where you're set at. Um, <clears throat> on the side here for your you're up and down, you're going to see the uh, little marks here, and I believe you can. You see little marks, there's an arrow, and that way you sort of know where your, where your sight is in line with the main body of your bow, so that if you're out hunting and you look at it and it's off, then you know you need to shoot some shots to make sure that the bow is still shooting. I always shoot when I'm up elk hunting anyway, um, just to, you know, stretch out the old arms first thing in the morning and all that. I, we all get older, that's what we have to do. Um, then once that's set in with the 20 yards, now what we're going to do is you have individual pins here, little, little, like, little set screws, if you will. Now they control, and you guys can see how bright, I mean, it's not very bright down here in, in the studio, but you can see how bright those seven pins are, all right? And uh, let me zoom in and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. You see that last pin is my 90 yard pin right there. All right, so you got that first pin set in at 20 yards, and then you want to set your second pin in. Well, all you have to do on the side is it has a push and pull type system. You find the pin that's adjusted to one of these little set screws right here, and then all you have to do is loosen one a little bit, tighten the other one, and it moves it up or down. All right, and, and the great thing is, is it stays in line. Say if it, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't stay in line, then uh, there's a main screw here on the pin itself, and it's, it's really hard to see, but there's a main screw here where you can screw it out so that you want to make sure that 
your center wire, guide wire here in the middle, that all your pins are aligned with that because your bow, if it's perfectly tuned, will be shooting the same left or right no matter what the distance. So you want to make sure you set that pin out so that it's in line with that, that wire after you do the vertical adjustment. So like I said, the vertical adjustment is very simple. You take one, you loosen it, you tighten the other one, and because uh, there's two, two set screws associated with each pin, and it moves it either up or down. And then the main pin on the main little Allen wrench bolt or whatever it is on the pin, you just either tighten that or loosen it to move it in or out from the main guide wire, which is right, right here that sort of follows, you know, it gives you your center portion. All right. So now once you have that done, then you just follow the process throughout all of your pins, depending on where you feel comfortable. Now remember, just because you have seven pins, doesn't mean you need to be shooting 90 yards. You have to practice to shoot 90 yards all the time, and I stress that very importantly. I mean, it, we owe it to the animals, and uh, you know, you owe it to yourself as a hunter. It's ethics, and that's something that we really need to uh, to be able to cover, and, and that we do. So, you know, with that being said, let me show you another thing on here. Now, I never used to use the leveling bubble before. And the way I shot my bow, I would always have an arrow sort of drift just a little bit. Now, the important thing here is that when you come to full draw, you want to make sure that bubble on here, there's a little bubble down here in the bottom, is level. Because then you know you're holding your bow level. So if you're shooting at an angle up a mountain at an animal, that could mean the difference between a hit or miss. Because if your bubble is level, and you're holding on that animal and you release it, it's going to hit right where you want it to. But if it's offset, it's actually going to drop to the different direction, but you think you had the right pin on. Now, I've heard Cameron say this before, and uh, it's something I really need to stress. And that, that is definitely important to make sure you always, if you do shoot, get used to shooting with it before season. That way it's one of those mental checklists that you always make in your head, and then you, uh, you go out there and you, you, know, you have a successful hunt. Because that's what it's all about. I mean, that's why we, we invest all this money in all these great products like this. Uh, to be able to go out there and, and harvest an animal, you know, efficiently. And uh, definitely, you want to do it to the best of your ability. And enjoy your whole experience. Because there's nothing like when you make that great 80, 90 yard shot on an animal. And you've practiced all summer long. And you definitely, uh, you owe it to yourself, any animal. And uh, you really will enjoy your hunt. But overall, I'm going to have to say, you know, these guys over here at Spot Hog, they make one of the toughest bow sights that I've ever had. Uh, my wife shoots one, I shoot one, and I recommend if you guys haven't done it, you know, the old saying of you get what you paid for is really the truth, especially in this industry, because this is a quality product made here in America, solid machined aluminum, everything fits perfect, it's just great. Um, the only thing I would recommend, which I have my own, is is actually my wife made a little pouch with a little, uh, it's like a little metal band in it, and it's sort of like a spring. So I take it and I wrap it around the front, and I do it on there just to protect the pins, which, believe me, I've, I've drug this thing through the mountains, through brush, set the bow down on the ground when I'm calling elk and glassing them. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have it on when I'm out there, but when I store the bow here at the house, it protects everything, you know. You just cover your pins, and, that, and that's a great thing to do. But I'll tell you what, Cameron Haynes Signature Series uh, Hunter Hoggett from Spot Hog definitely has a thumbs up from Outdoor Product Review because it's a great product. I shoot Spot Hog sites. I've reviewed a lot of sites, and uh, this by far has to be my favorite. I've, I, have, I own three of these, and they are just great. So you guys go to Spot Hog's website. We'll have it right down here below us. And... Uh, you know, look at the different things they have. They have single pins, they have three pin, four pin, five pin, whatever you guys need to have for out there hunting. You know, every place is different. Here in Colorado, it's not uncommon to take 70 yard shots. That's a that's an average shot. So you need a longer, you know, more multiple pin sight to be able to do that. And Spot Hog is, has everything that you need to meet uh, your expectations of a, of a bow sight. Great warranty, lifetime. You can drop it off a cliff and they'll send you a new one as long as you return the old one. So for Outdoor Product Review, I am Jason Ballas. 
We're going to see you guys on our next review. We're getting ready to go to the ATA show. We're going to have a bunch of great products, live updates from the ATA show every day. So you guys check back in with us, and uh, hope you have a great new year, and we'll see you around.